What is going on guys? My name's Sam and welcome and today we are actually going to be talking about Pokemon Go. Now Pokemon Go is an app which has just recently came out in a lot of major countries around the world and what it is is you go around searching for Pokemon and you probably already know what it is by if you're watching this video um, but obviously you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about a way to find Pokemon a lot easier and that's going to be using this app the one next to Pokemon Go it's called Ingress. Now what it is, is it's a game where you go around collecting XP, I think. I'm not too sure, it's, it's, it's not really that popular. Um, it's kind of only been used recently to find Pokemon. And what it does is, um, as you can see from the image that I'm showing you now, it has the same map layout from what Pokemon Go uses. And as you can see, the little white spots or kind of areas where there's clusters of just like kind of white freckles in a way is um, that's like where the EXP is generated and Pokemon Go kind of uses a same system to that as in it's not the XP it's where Pokemon spawn now as you can see from this other image um, there is a gym kind of in the top top part of the screen the red gym which is across from the long grass and then if we put the two images side by side together you can see that where the cluster of EXP is and where that kind of white thing is in the middle of the cluster of the XP is where the gym is so what this is they, they kind of link up together and what you can obviously tell from this is you can use this ingress app um, to locate your Pokemon and it kind of shows you clusters of XP and you can use that to your advantage and then say for instance if you're looking for a Pokemon that's three footsteps away you kind of use the Ingress app to see where there's large clusters and try and head there to see if that's where your Pokemon is. This isn't a 100% guarantee that your Pokemon that you're looking for are going to be in this cluster or that it's going to find Pokemon, rarer Pokemon easier. It's just kind of to give you an example of where Pokemon spawn and how they've used a different system to spawn in the Pokemon so you can use the Ingress app to go around your town, your city, whatever, go to places just to see clusters where you're more likely to pick up and find Pokemon. Um, it's, it just basically helps a lot of people out so if you live in areas where there aren't many spawn points then you can go to the places where there are more spawn points. Now obviously this is kind of all the information that we have for now um, so you can use that there will be a link in the description for the ingress app you will need to log in using Google at first but uh, don't worry about that they won't find any in, like they won't get information off you it's just obviously a simple login procedure and then you just need to create a character and skip through all that and then you get given the map so as you can see I'm nearly level 2 and I'll, I only really use it to find the Pokemon um, so yeah, I hope this has helped you out. Like I said, this can't guarantee that you're going to be able to find Pokemon 100%, but it's going to hopefully give you an idea or a suggestion to where they are going to be located. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, let me know in the comment section if you found any Pokemon. Leave a like if it's helped you out. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake